Hey, hello, hello, this is Father Adam greeting you with some good news, more good news that I know you can use. When I was super depressed with all these thoughts of taking my life, they couldn't find the right medication to give me in order to help me. I didn't need people to cheer me up. What I needed was to hear, do not be afraid, I am with you. No matter what happens, I will be with you. You are not alone. I will not leave you. We are in this together. People who are sick, whether it be with depression, or with cancer, or with something else that they are dealing with. They do not need any empty words to cheer them up. What they need is presence. I needed presence. That's what God offers us. And that's what God invites us to offer each other. Be not afraid for I am with you, says Jesus, and he wants you you who are his presence to those around you because you are Jesus' body. He's got no other hands but yours, no other feet but yours, no other mouth but yours, no other eyes but yours, no other hug but yours, no other kiss but yours, no other presence but yours. You are his presence. You are the temple of God. He is presence in our life and he wants us who are made in his image and likeness. If you want to see God, look in the mirror. And if you want to see God, look at another person. We all image God. We receive the body of Christ when we go to Mass to be the body of Christ. So we are to be the body of Christ for each other. Be his presence. I'm speaking right now with a 22-year-old young man who is dying of cancer. And he says to me, Father Adam, I can't die. I can't die. And I said, well, why can't you die? And he says, because my mother says to me that if I die, it will kill her. My mother says that it will destroy our family, that it will be the end of our peace, that it will ruin her. She's not giving him permission to die in her egotistical, selfish attitude, because all she's thinking about is herself, right? If he dies, what's gonna happen to me? She's not letting him go. She's putting so much pressure on him. This young man, he says, she's on top of him all the time saying, eat, 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 he says, because he has throat cancer or it has metastasized all over his body and he's got cancer in his throat as well. And he says, I can't eat. And she's on top of me with food all the time. You gotta eat, you gotta eat, you gotta eat. He's feeling so pressured. Take the pressure off. I called her and I said, listen, just be there with him. Enjoy those moments, whatever moments you have left with him. Take the pressure off. We're all gonna die. Be with him, touch him, kiss him, enjoy those moments and tell him it's okay. We're all going to be one day together anyway in that new place that God has prepared for us called heaven where there is no more cancer, no more anorexia, <laughs> no more abuse, no more depression, no more people taking their life. There's no more war. There's just that endless joy in the presence of God. Take the pressure off. What your loved ones need is not for you to solve their issues, <laughs> solve their problems, or fix them, because you know we're not broken toys that need to be fixed, or broken cars. We're not things. We're human beings. We don't need to be fixed. We need to be accompanied for somebody to be with us, to say, huh, it will all be fine. I'm with you. 
God is with you. God is present and he invites us to be present in the lives of those that we have been sent to. This is Father Adam Kotas with more good news that I know you can use. Mwah.